Right, uh, here we are with a tutorial for um, how to do mesh heads and in particular for the uh, my Jenna V2 head. Uh, links in the description. Uh, so this is for for IMVU in particular. There's there's many mesh heads and all, this tutorial is just going to be very, very general. Uh, just so you get an idea. But with mesh heads, uh, what normally happens is you, you get templates. Uh, so you can see there's uh, the templates for the for the eyebrows, for the eyelashes there. Um, and the one that we're wanting is the mask. So uh, if I right mouse this and uh, open that in a new new image, so you, you can actually see the, the template here. Uh, so what we need to do now is uh, get, get that into uh, Photoshop. But uh, the thing that we're going to be painting is obviously... Um, uh, a face, so you can you can see you can see the areas on the on the mask. Um, I've generated the the mesh so that you can do the eyes closed, so you can get extra detail in for for like the top of the eyelids. Um, the green area around the the nose, that's the nostrils, so that's generally going to be black. And then you've got the area for the lips. The lips are designed to be uh, closed. So what I've got here is uh, uh, just a random face generator. So you can so you can pretty much click the generate button, and I've given it an age range of uh, fe well, it's female eighteen to thirty, and then what we're looking for is just um, a nice looking head that doesn't have too many highlights of uh, for the lighting, something that's that's possibly going to be lips closed, not ideally, but. You don't want something like surprise like that. That's you also want something with the face looking kind of generally uh, straight on. That's not too bad. So we might sort of have a look at uh, just processing this one. So what uh, what I'll do is just uh, download this and then we'll get it into Photoshop and then just start the very basic um, example of how you would go about doing that. So here we are in Photoshop. And what we want is both of the images in, in together so we can start working with it in, in layers. Um, so what we're going to do is drag it into um, the, the, the mask image. And then we'll just turn the blending down a little bit so you can see both of them. And then I'm going to use the warp tool, which is um, Control T is a shortcut on Photoshop. Or you can just go into edit um, and then translate, uh, which is it? Edit. Yeah, edit transform and then warp. It's just the same as pressing control, control T and then. So what we're looking at doing is we're, we're, we're matching the features uh, just stretching the image out to, to match the features for the mask that you can just see underneath. I'm I'm not going to spend ages on this. I'm not going to be doing it perfectly. Uh, this tutorial is just a very general um, idea of, of just how about how I would go about the, the process of starting. I mean, obviously, you can spend a lot more time than I'm going to be doing matching all of the features, the nostrils, the, the eyes. There will be problems with the way that I'm doing it like this in that um, the way that I've generated the mesh is for uh, eyes that are closed. Now you can see I've used um, an image that, that has the eyes open and the mouth open. You're going to have to cut and paste however you see fit um to to do that yourself another thing i want to do on just on this one is to i don't like the 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 fact that the hair is covering half the face so what i'm going to do is just duplicate the the image flip it halfway and then what we're going to do is we're going to cut um half of the image away and i actually cut the wrong one there so i'm going to undo that um just so you can just so you can see more of the face so so you'll see in a second. So we're going to have like two halves of the face like that. And then 
because there's a there's such a line down the middle what we're going to do is just uh, um, erase erase down that line just to just to, so it blends a little bit better and you don't have such an obvious um, line down there you can spend a lot more time than I am obviously I'm as I say I'm just giving you a very very general um, example of, of how you go about this process next thing we'll do is we'll just uh, we'll just try and throw that into um, IMVU itself and then just see where we are I know it's going to be wrong because the, the uh, we haven't done anything about the the eyes uh, and we haven't closed the mouth I don't really that's not what I'm um, uh, the process of this tutorial is about you can you can work out how to do that um, and spend a lot more time than than I am here Right, so here we have the Jenna head inside of IMVU. Now you'll notice that you're not you're not going to see the mask initially, and that's because if you look on Material ninety eight, we've got the opacity uh, set to to black, so it's not going to appear at all. Uh, right, so let's try the image inside of um, IMVU now so let's just load in that one that we've just yes it's gonna look bad so what we need to do is load in the image and then just delete that black opacity just so we can see it pop up and then as soon as, soon as we do that and click apply changes you're gonna see whack yes obviously it's it's pretty wrong because I uh, as I said I haven't sorted out the the eyes or the mouth um, and also the other thing that's wrong with it is there's no blending to go from the um, the mask to um, black to the to the skin that you're wearing so generally what you would do is go around the edge um, and just kind of feather it so that so we're going to use a, an opacity now just to to make it black along the the outline of the mask so that uh, it just blends in a bit nicer to the the skin that you're wearing in nine view So we'll start out with the the opacity on on white, and then I'm anywhere I paint black is obviously not not going to appear. So I'm just going to go around the edge of it, right the way around the edge of the mask. Um, that little section in the bottom there is actually for the is it the the you know that little thing in the bot in the corner of your eye just so you can make a high detail version. I'm not going to paint that in in this example, but you can. So you can see that the areas there, you can see uh, it doesn't blend in at all with the skin that you're wearing underneath around the edges of the mask. So if I just tidy this up a little, just to make it a bit more uniform because I'm, yeah, you know, it doesn't look uniform to me. So this is our basic capacity. As I say, you can spend a lot more time just uh, choosing out little sections. If you just want to focus on the lips, um, you can do that. If you want to focus around the eyes, uh, make a cute little nose, whatever, that's entirely up to you. Um, and then the, the beauty of, of doing it like this is that if you get the blending right, it should work quite well with, with um, skins underneath so so now I click apply and you can see it's just blending in a bit nicer around the edges of the mask you don't need to use the 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 whole face you don't need to mask the whole face you can just make little features um, another thing you'll notice though is the um, there's there's eyebrows there that, that you you don't really need because the eyebrows are actually um, created on top um, on the on the mesh itself so yeah yeah and also you need to close the mouth I haven't done that 
but I'm, I imagine it'll still work quite well with the, the, the smiles and there you go. So, I mean, I would check that out. That, uh, there is some, some smiles included on the, on the actual mesh. Uh, let's just try it in a darkened room and uh, just see, just see how it, uh, how it reacts with that as well. Um, so you don't need to to do um, add any eyebrows. Don't paint any eyebrows on the mask because the eyebrows are in material zero eight. There is eyelashes included on the the mesh. The material one zero nine and one ten. It's up to you if you want to change them. I'll just point them out now. So that's top eyelash and bottom eyelash. Um, there's some example ones provided, but if you want to, sorry, the eyebrow is 100. If you want to update the eyebrows, you can, but you really don't need to because it because the the mesh already works with any eyebrows that exist in the catalog, so you can just load those on top. Um, and that's pretty much how it works. So I hopefully this is like gives you a little indication of what you should be doing and how you can use this kind of thing uh, to make your your mesh heads yes I understand I've, I'm not a I'm not a painter I didn't spend very long at all um, creating this and it's looking a bit shonky but you can spend a lot more time get something that you really like and uh, hopefully it's of some use to you thank you